Hello everyone, it's your Keto Queen here, aka Pastor Kim, aka Agape Love. Welcome to my new channel. I'm devoting the Keto Queen channel to my weight loss journey, to keto recipes and ideas, just to low carbs and, you know, eating healthy, a healthy lifestyle in general. So I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming over. This is my weight loss journey for Monday. I do a weight loss journey every other Monday because I don't want to weigh myself every single Monday. That would just be totally agonizing. That would just be like totally, totally just horrible to have to weigh yourself. Even though I try to get on the scale, you know, in between the two week period, but still. So anyway, so I talk about my weight loss journey every other week. This is like episode 18. So if you haven't seen the other episodes, you'll have to go to the Agape Love channel to see those. But moving forward, all of my weight loss journey episodes will be over here on the Keto Queen, okay? Um, so I did get on the scale, and as you can see from the title, scales make me sick, okay? I did get on the scale, and when I first got on, I was down two pounds. Then when I got back on, I was up three pounds, you know, because I like to get on twice to verify. And then it was all over the place the next time I got on. So I think this scale needs batteries. It's a digital scale, so I have to get some AAA batteries, and um, I'll get back on again. I do think that I've lost inches because, I, like I said previously, I do lose inches quicker than I lose weight and I can tell in some of my clothes they do fit better um I did you know, pop on a little uh like a house walk run around the house dress that um I hadn't had on in a long time and so that fit better so um yeah what else I am doing the one meal a day intermittent fasting I have a window that's from two to eight, like two-ish to 7.30ish, after eight o'clock, that's it, you know. Um, and I've been doing pretty good with that. I usually take uh, two tangerines to, to work with me so that if I get hungry, I'll, you know, take those. I also have um, been uh, nibbling on, um, what is it, kettle chips. Now don't sleep on kettle chips, I know, it's chips. But kettle chips, and I will show you um, a bag. I'm going to do a um, keto snack um, video, and I'm going to put kettle, kettle chips in that um, video because the kettle chips, the little snack packs of kettle chips are only 15 carbs per bag. Really, at the end of the day, that's all it is. Are those carbs, those sweets, those sugars, those salts. You know, I'm doing the intermittent fasting. I'm, um, what else am I doing? I'm doing no meat for Lent. I haven't been eating any meat. No chicken, no fried chicken, no baked chicken. Bless Ro made some smothered chicken. I was watching her video and oh my God, that chicken looks so good. I was just like, I can't, I can't. You know, sometimes you watch people's cooking recipes and they make you want to go out and, you know, buy the ingredient and make it. I'm like, oh, I'm not eating meat. I haven't had any chicken, any bacon, any turkey. I've been eating tuna, um, shrimp. What else? Crab legs, salmon. And so, yeah. So I thought that, you know, that would be like, you know, maybe drop at least 10 pounds from just not doing that. I will say that my digestive system is processing food much easier. I will say that. Um, and with the with not eating any meat. So between the not eating meat and the intermittent fasting, you know, I think I'm doing pretty good. You know, it's just going to take time. Rome wasn't built in a day. And focusing more and more and more on the snacks snacks, 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 because let's face it, 
when you're normally eating one meal a day, you've got that two to six window, and you're not eating any heavy steak or, you know, chicken, fried chicken, like I said, baked chicken, bacon, liver mush, all of the stuff that, you know, I miss. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm eating vegetables. I am snacking a little bit, but I'm cutting back, you know, like I should be able to eat anything I want. But let's face it, guys. Let's face it, guys. The conclusion, which I already know, is that if you don't cut out the carbs, the sweets, the sugars, and the carbs, it's a wrap. It's like no matter what, the weight is not coming off, you know? And so it's just, uh, um, it's a never ending battle. But I do want to say, oh, I wanted to say, I do appreciate you guys for your support. I've even got support from people from other countries. Your kind words, your words of encouragement, your advice. I appreciate it all. I thank you for it. And um, it just, it helps. It really does. You know, like, of course, you don't, you know, you don't know people. You're out here in this YouTube world. But for someone to write, you know, kind words of encouragement, you know, I appreciate that. And even the people that I do know on the YouTube, in the YouTube streets, thank you as well, because you're encouraging me. And, um, you know, it is a journey. It's an absolute journey. And um, I'm expecting progress, real progress. I just have to get past that five to 10 mark um, measure. And when I do that, then I'll really, really be like, oh, I'll really be like, woo, yes, 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 yes. If I could just, you know, knock out a good 20 pounds. Now, my doctor, remember I told y'all she left, I was supposed to be 20 pounds down by the middle of March. I already know I'm not going to be 20 pounds. Um, I doubt if I'll be 10, but even if I'm like six or seven, I'll be happy. Any little bit helps, you know, any little bit helps. I'm just going to keep at it. Keep at it. Chisel, 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 chisel. You know, I don't have the big axe to cut the tree down, so I'm just going to just chisel at it. Chisel, chisel, chisel. And we will get there. We will absolutely get there. Thank you for sharing your journeys. You know, I appreciate that again. And thank you for your words of encouragement. So, scale's crazy. Gets on my nerves. Makes me sick. Um, needs new battery, so we'll find out about that next time. Continuing with the intermittent fasting and intermittent fasting, looking for snacks. Got a video coming on snacks and no meat for Lent. I don't know if I'm going to, going to continue that after Lent. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I think I will. I think I will, but I don't know for sure. I just cross that bridge when I get to it, but I think I'm going to continue just not eating meat for a while. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Remember, each and every day is a new beginning. Y'all have a blessed day. Oh, I can't say that because that's not that's not that's my agape love channel. I can't say you have a blessed day in a purposeful life, and I love you with that agape love. I can't say that. So, my saying over here is: remember, each day is a new beginning. We can start over every single day. All right. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.